welcome everyone today we will learn how to convert text into a speech using the tts openai model in a dotnet api so as a prerequisite we need to create an openai account which you can have five free dollars to consume during three months okay so let's go to the overview of the uh, models in the openai and look for tts this AI model converts tags into natural sounding spoken tags. We have two models. The first one optimized for speed and the second one optimized for quality. Click the speech endpoint in the audio API and click this speech link to see the definition of the TTS endpoint. Okay, we have the URI, we have the request body with the model um, as a parameter. In the input and that is the text the maximum length is 4096 characters the voice we have some previews of some default voices okay and the response format which by default is mp3 and the speed it has a range of 0 0.25 to 4.0 okay <clears throat> so let's go to visual studio and create a new project a new asta network web api define the name open ai dts select the latest that net version okay the first step in this demo is to create the input body which we will receive as an input body in the api so replace the name of this weather forecast default class as a input body with four parameters we will receive the model we will receive the input which is the text itself the voice and finally a decimal property which will represent the speed we'll use the default mp3 uh, output format okay just to keep it simple and then the second step is to go to the default controller rename it as open ai controller to create the endpoint get rid of this sample code and create a new method which will return an iAction result called TTS and define the attribute which is HTTP post which will receive an input body okay and that's it the next step is to use the HTTP client to perform HTTP request so define a variable called HTTP client using the class the next step is to define the HTTP request message we will pass in the post method. So use the HTTP request message class, define several parameters. The first one is the method, this is post, the request URI. So create a new URI and pass the URI endpoint from the TTS. Let's copy it out and paste it here and the headers we need to pass the headers the first one is the authorization header which will be a bird api key and the content type so define the headers so the first header will be an http request header that authorization and transform this to string this is the name of the header and the second parameter is the value okay the value is bearer with the open ai key so how to find the api key or to generate an api key go to the api key section and create a new secret key define the name let's create it and copy the value <coughs> let's paste it here and the second http header is an http request header that i set pass it to a string because it's the name and the value that is application.json okay response will be json format okay and the final parameter will be the content which will be the input itself but we need to use the json content class that create a new object based on the input model and that's it the next step is to get the response from the http post method from open ai so define a variable called response let's await for the response by passing the http request message okay we will write this uh, content of the file into 
uh, computer. So we will transform this response into a byte array. So how to that? Define a variable called byte array and then call response that content that read as byte array async and then use the system that I own that file class to write all bytes asynchronously into a relative path. In this case, will be in this uh, <coughs> path, the project path, and define the name audio.mp3 and pass the bytes, okay, the byte array. And finally, return an OK status code by passing the response. It's time to test the API. So let's run it. Let's span the method and let's define the model. In this case, it will be TTS1HD, optimized for quality. TTS1 is optimized for speed. I want quality. The input will be hello. This is quest and code. And the voice will be a default voice. So go to the open AI documentation, click the text to speech guide to listen or to see the voice options. I will use the Shime option. So go to the Swagger UI and define the Shime voice and the speed. Let's test with the default speed. Okay, let's execute it. And we have a successful status code response. Go to Visual Studio and as you can see, we have the audio.mp3 file. I will disconnect my microphone. Hello, this is Chris and Code. 